Hi, I'm Karen with VizArts and today we're going to be learning how to make a paper mache chicken. This is a project that is suitable for children, although they will need, younger ones will need help. Uh, the simplest one is going to be a chicken without a leg. Then we have chicken with wire. And then I'm gonna show you how to take your basic shape and turn it into a fish. Okay, so for the first step of this project, you're going to need a paper plate. I believe this is a nine inch paper plate. You're going to need some crumpled up paper. How much of that, how much paper you need is going to be a personal choice in terms of how fat you want your chicken. You're going to put the newspaper in you're going to turn it over and using masking tape and you're going to fill the entire thing over. If you're working alone, it helps to have your masking tape already torn into some pieces. And the first step is really, you're just going to kind of get your basic step here. And as you can see, this is one that um, I have stuffed uh, very full. Uh, when you're working with children, it's nice when your uh, taco, so to speak, is very, very firm. And this is how, this is what you're going for. And one of the things that you want to do is make sure that it sits on what will be the chicken's tummy. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut out the tail and the beak. And uh, here is what the pattern is going to look like. For kids, I would definitely keep with just one, uh, with just one indentation. The more detailed that you have, the harder it is going to be for them to wrap the uh, cardboard with the um, paper mache. And so here are my tail and my beak. Now, taking a pair of scissors, I'm going to cut. You could use an X-Acto knife if you're a parent that is um, working with a kid. Uh, you notice I've made a slit. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. And you're going to simply take your tail and push it in. Next, you're gonna do the same thing with the beak up at this end. And there you can start to see that it is definitely taking on the shape of the chicken. The next step is that you're going to, using masking tape, you're going to attach the beak and the tail firmly to its body. Okay, so here I am. I am attaching the beak and I'm gonna use a fair amount of masking tape because uh, you are actually creating the shape over which you're going to be paper mache. So the stronger it is structurally, the more it looks like what it is that you really want it to look like. So because I want to taper in to the beak, I don't want him sitting in squarely. I'm actually building up, using the tape, an area that will pretty much be the chicken's head. And again, you can't go wrong. There's no such thing in paper mache as too much tape. Uh, and so we're gonna just do this one and our head and beak will be attached. There it is. Next, I will move on to the tail. Uh, the tail is going to be a little bit easier uh, because it is in much deeper. The first piece that I'm gonna put in is going to be down and around Again, don't worry about your first couple of pieces. The tail just, I have found, does not wiggle as much as the head does. 
So while I don't mind a very abrupt uh, tail to body, if you wanted to make it more of a transition, you will notice how I took a piece of tape and I went that way and I can literally create an armature to transition into the tail using masking tape. And uh, as, I can, as I said before, there is no such thing as too much masking tape. And I'm going to keep going until I'm happy with the way that my tail looks. And we're almost ready to start with the paper mache. So as you can see, I've made actually a pretty smooth transition from the body into the tail. I'm going to fill that space with masking tape and then we will be ready to start paper mache. I'm gonna give you the paper mache recipe now. So here's the recipe. You're going to need a half a cup of flour and you're gonna need three tablespoons of sugar. And using a whisk, mix the half a cup of flour into two cups of cold water. Make sure that there are no lumps. While you're doing that, you're going to bring two other cups of water to boil. When you have a rolling boil, you're going to add your cold water and flour mixture. But again, using a whisk, you're gonna keep stirring. Don't want there to be any lumps. Bring it back to a boil, and then you're gonna take it off the heat. At that point, you're gonna add three tablespoons of sugar and whisk it well. And then all you're gonna do is let it cool. So now we're gonna start paper mache. Okay, so we're ready to start our paper mache process. If you happen to have some parchment paper, it is a great surface to work on. Your paper mache will not stick to it. You can tear uh, or cut. Um, tearing up paper is a great thing for kids to do. Um, I just use newspaper because I wanna keep the cost down. I have saturated the paper and I'm just laying it down. I'm smoothing it. This is paper mache paste that I made probably three or four days ago. Uh, you wanna try not to fold it. Uh, on the body of the bird, you can use nice big pieces. You will find it difficult to work with these big pieces when you get to very small areas like the head. Uh, so it pays to have some smaller strips cut. And again, there's no magic to it. You're just gonna keep going and you're gonna wanna let it dry out a little bit before you go and you do your second um, coat. You notice I took a small piece here of newspaper and that's gonna make it much easier for me to uh, work the small angles. And like I said, you can uh, keep going. If you're absolutely dying to get this project done really fast, you could do two layers before you let it dry. But here is my suggestion. There is a lot of moisture. So when you do the second coat, you may not need to dip it, your newspaper. You may actually have so much glue on it that all you have to do is press a piece on. But you do wanna make sure that your first layer has a fair amount of glue. And that is the magic of paper mache. Okay, so our chicken has dried overnight with two coats. And you can hear, he makes a nice hard sound. This chicken I want to do in black and white. So I have taken acrylic paint and I'm going to do a nice coat of black paint. Uh, 
probably I would suggest is paint everything that you want in that first color and leave this area unpainted so that you can rest it. Um, either that or you can hold your chicken by its tail. So with the magic of doing things ahead of time, this side of the chicken I have already painted in black. And I wanted to show you, you can do any color chicken you want. You can paint flowers, you can paint polka dots. Again, it is really all up to you. The way that I got this texture was that I took bubble wrap. You don't have to use your fingers, I don't mind and I painted it on, and then I just pressed, because there's a very famous type of chicken that is black and white, and you have a chicken. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make a fish out of the same paper plate base as the chicken. So here is my fish, we'll put him off to the side. And here you can see that we have the paper plate. And to that, I've created a tail, a dorsal fin, and two side fins. You're going to cut these out and making slits again. You're going to add them to your fish and using tape, you're going to once again secure your tail and all of your fins, and then you would proceed the way that you did with your chicken. The last option I'm going to show you is how to put legs on your chicken. So I've cut off a nice um, solid piece, of probably, I don't know, three feet long. This is 18 gauge wire. Uh, the thinner the wire, the more you're going to have to strengthen it. I've made a loop at the end. This loop is eventually going to become your claw, as you can see. And then I'm going to double this. I'm going to fold it once. I'm going to fold it twice and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wrap, and then I'm going to take, I'm gonna separate them, and I'm going to wrap uh, the wire. Now, you know, they also sell really beautiful different colored wires that you can be as crazy as you want. This is what you're going for. You're gonna make two of them. You're going to position it approximately halfway through. And then before you stuff your taco using a lot of tape again, you are going to attach your leg. Make sure you use tape going in both directions. You're going to attach your other one and then you're gonna proceed as you did. This is what you're looking for. And uh, so uh, I found, find it easier when you are paper macheing, separate out their little legs so that you can um, get in here. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have them nice and firmly in. You can balance your chicken later. So that is a standing chicken. <laughs>